Okay. Hello. I'm Dennis. Today, I'm going to go through installing the programs that you're going to need to be able to plug an Android telephone into your computer and be able to use it. What you see in front of you here is a freshly installed XFCE desktop on the Arts Base. I've intentionally plugged in a USB stick, and it's right here, so that it, I could find out if my programs will actually mount a USB stick, and you can see it's right there, and that's it. At the same time, though, my phone is actually plugged in, and it's telling me that it can't not find the software to connect. So I'm going to get rid of that USB there and let my host machine go ahead and mount it. Go back up here and go to my USB. It's showing me my arch is recognizing that it's there or my virtual machine is recognizing that it's there because on my host machine I've got the software installed so it can recognize it. And there's Thunar file manager on my host machine and right there is the phone. You see it says phone. This is what I had to do though in order to let Arch recognize my telephone so that I could utilize it and get pictures and movies or what have you off of it. You saw that I had USB utils and the GB file system installed, and it, and it definitely recognizes the USB stick, but it's not recognizing my phone. First prerequisite you're going to need to know is whether or not you have Yay installed. And on this, right now, I do not have. <laughs> it just remounted my USB stick. <laughs> anyway, right now, I do not have. Yay, and I don't think I do. Let me see. I may have done that during the base install because I knew I was going to want it or need it. Let me see if it's here. Yay. Let's see what it does with this etcher. Okay, it says the yay command is not even found. We got to get that first because we're going to need a program that is not available in the regular Arch repositories. It needs to be installed through Yay or Pymot. So how do we do that? So the first thing we're going to do is cd space slash tmp. We're going to change directories into our temporary one. And we're going to say uh, type in git get clone from HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash AUR dot ARCH Linux dot ORG slash yay dot period GIT. If that's spelt right, it'll reach out and it's getting a clone of that. So now we got to go into that directory. So we're going to cd space yay yay. Now we're in that directory. Now we're going to make pkg, make a package, and give it dash s i, lowercase s, lowercase i. Now it's going to actually in, make a package and install yay on our system. Which we'll need anyway for getting Palmac or Octopi or whatever package manager you want to install. So this will take just a minute. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and read the warning flag that my telephone, uh, Android telephone is giving me. It says, attention, unable to find software on your PC that can recognize your device. Service Pack 3, Windows Media Player, version 10 or higher for Windows XP or Android file transfer for Mac OS must be installed. And it tells me I can go to Samsung and install it. Out of curiosity, I went, did go to their website and they don't have anything for Linux in particular, especially Arch. 
that's okay. It gave me that warning just now when I went up to the devices here and when I highlighted it, and the phone recognized it. Arch was trying to get in touch with it. And that's when it gave me this warning flag. We need to get Yay installed. And you're going to need to make sure you got GIT, which apparently we do because I just used it. It said Git clone. Usually I would have had this installed on the base before I ever got into my desktop. So, yep, proceed with the installation. Okay, great. Now we're just going to close out of that terminal and we'll come back to another terminal. We need a program called MTPFS. We want to make sure, or you want to make sure that you do have Git installed. You can type in GIT space dash dash version. And if you've got it installed, it'll show up. I've got version 2.24. Now we're going to need that package. We're going to get it Pacman, pseudo Pacman dash S, capital S. MTP FS. Hit enter. Don't hit enter because we want it. Okay, so now we're going to use yay. Yay space dash capital S JMT PFS. These are two different file systems. And since this is not in the regular Arch repositories, we're going to need to use Yay to install it. Which I bet you could go to Palmock and, and look up JMT PFS and it would probably show up right there. But on the other hand, I'm sure this is a lot faster. <laughs> That's fine too. Maybe it'll get on through. This virtual machine only has a two core processor and four gigs of RAM. So it's not going to be the fastest, fastest. There we go. We got that. Still not through. There is some other things that we need. We're going to need Pac Man to get those. So I'm going to exit out of Yay. Hit Control Alt T. Bring up another terminal. And go sudo Pac Man dash capital S GVFS file system dash MTP I'm going to hit enter install all that now we're going to need one more we're going to need let me up arrow and just backspace out of the last command so now we're going to need GVFS Dash G photo all one word two G B F S dash happen G P H O T O two all one word. We're going to install it now. In order for any of this to work, we're going to have to reboot. I'm going to leave the camera going, and you can follow me all the way through the reboot. Once I get back into the system, then I'll go up to the devices and activate the phone that it was showing me but wouldn't register in the previous screen. Bet you anything it'll pop up. Well, I don't bet you anything. I guess I should get rid of that one flash drive that's in there so it's not showing up and confusing me. So we're at our login prompt. You can tell I hadn't done anything to 
light DM greeters. Okay, so my phone is still plugged into the host machine. I'm going to go up here to devices, pick USB, and there's my Samsung. I'm going to select it. And guess what? It's already showed up on my desktop. <laughs> right there. Samsung, Android. All right, so let me go to my file browser. There it is. It shows right up in Thunar. Now it's just a matter of navigating to the file or folder you want, and I just happen to know that there's my camera photo. Let's see, I don't have, even have no no Macs. I wonder if Restrito will open that up. Oh, not really. They're still trying to open it. Close out. So there we are. We've installed our Android phone now so that Arch will recognize it. And as soon as you plug it in, it'll pick it up. And you're good to go. So let me disconnect it. Oh, it already disconnected. There it is. Come right back. <laughs> let me make sure it's still in my file browser. There it is there. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I know I certainly did trying to get my Android phone to work with Arch. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.